We're joined now by one of Joe Biden's rivals during the primaries, the former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, Pete Buttigieg. Mayor Pete, thank you for joining us again this morning. You just heard the president there taking on Michelle Obama. And President Obama also says that Joe Biden is basically going to be a Trojan horse for socialism after the convention. What's your response? Well, I guess when we go high, he goes low. It's not terribly surprising, but uh, it's clear from the message we heard last night uh, where the character of America could be. Michelle Obama's message was powerful. All of the messages last night were powerful. And the simple fact is that most Americans are with us. We are winning for a reason. Doesn't mean we're guaranteed to win. We got to put in the work. Uh, but this president is exceptionally unpopular. He's losing ground. And that's because right now the American people want a way out of the chaos, the division, and, and the simple incompetence that has characterized this presidency, especially in this crucial year. You talk about getting to work. The core message of Michelle Obama, one of the core messages was people have to get out and vote, get out and vote early, uh, go in person if you have to. It seems there's real concern there that these attacks on mail-in voting from President Trump might be working. Absolutely. I mean, what we've seen is that uh, President Trump has realized that if uh, the American people vote, he will lose. And instead of a strategy of trying to convince more Americans of his vision, his strategy is for fewer Americans. He says to vote. he's only going to lose if the election is rigged. That is an attack. <clears throat> that's an attack on democracy itself. He's going to lose if more people vote for our candidate, which uh, on today's fact is exactly what's going to happen. And, and since when do you preemptively call into question the legitimacy of an election that you say by definition won't be legitimate unless you win. You got to understand that's not just an attack on uh, the Democratic Party. That's an attack on America. When the president of the most consequential democracy on earth in the last 2000 years does something like that, that's bad for democracy around the world. And just one more reason why you don't have to be a diehard Democrat to know that we need a change in the Oval Office, and it can't come soon enough. Democrats tried to erect a big tent last night. You had pro pro Republicans like John Kasich speaking, Bernie Sanders speaking as well. But a lot of progressives seem unhappy with the highlighting of Republicans like that. Is there a real tension there? How do the Democrats solve it? There's always going to be, in our big tent, uh, a tug of war. There's always going to be internal jostling. But let's be clear, our party was unified. Last night, you heard from Republicans former Republicans, all the way through to Bernie Sanders, all offering the same compelling message that we've got to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for the sake of the country. Uh, look, we will always continue to have uh, differences of opinion inside our party on exactly how to do things like uh, meet the climate challenge and raise wages and get everybody health care and defeat this virus. But the question that's going to be settled in November isn't over exactly how to do those things. It's whether we're going to do those things at all. And Fine. everyone in our party and a lot of independents and some Republicans, frankly, most Americans agree on that question. Finally, the Trump campaign also launched overnight a new attack and most direct attack yet on Joe Biden's mental fitness. How big a concern is that? The president of the United States marked it as a great achievement when he passed a, a dementia screening. Look, this is not productive territory. We need to talk about where the country is headed, and the president will continue to try to distract us from that. Uh, but it's a losing, failing strategy at a moment when Americans uh, don't need anything more than the, the confirmation of our own everyday lives and experiences to tell us that America is on the wrong track and we need change fast. Pete Buttigieg, thanks very much. Thanks. We're going to have full coverage of the Democratic Convention starting tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern on ABC News Live. I'll be anchoring our primetime coverage at 10 Eastern right here on the network. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.